Well, thank you, Mr. President. I just heard my friend and colleague from West Virginia say there was no reason to vote today. There's a lot of reasons to vote today, Mr. President. It's a country affected by disease, people waking up anxious, scared, afraid of the disease and the economic consequences that are there. There are a lot of reasons to vote today. And every member of this Senate needs to stand up and be counted. And for the senator from West Virginia to say, I wouldn't be for this. I don't know where that's coming from. Well, just read the papers that are coming out of the Democrat House. Just read the papers of the demands by the Democrats to muck up a bill that is designed as a rescue operation for the American people. That's where the problem is, Mr. President. We need to vote today again and again and again until we provide the relief the rescue that the American people need. That's why we have a dozen Republicans on this side ready to speak, standing at podiums, ready to speak. And you don't right now have even a single Democrat on the floor to defend their position because it is indefensible. That's where we are. We had Nancy Pelosi flying back from California because she sent the House home a week ago. They're not here to defeat the work that we've done in a bipartisan way and to say, oh, you've done nice work. Now look at our list of laund our laundry list of things that we are demanding. Tax credits for solar panels, wind turbines, a bailout of the Postal Service. I mean, you can go through this list. Portions of the Green New Deal. Mr. President, I'm a doctor. I've been on the phone with doctors around the country, with my colleagues at the Wyoming Medical Center. They are working double time through the weekend, day and night, the nurses, the doctors, the health care providers, they need help. They're looking to us for help. They need tests, they need masks, they need respirators, they need hope. Hope that there will be a vaccine. Hope that there will be a treatment. Those things are in this bill that the Democrats voted to block last night, and the Democrats voted to block again today. And that's only the health care component of it. Our economy cannot be unleashed again until after we get the health care component behind it. But our colleagues, our friends, our neighbors, people that we know in our home states woke up today, woke up today, not being able to go to work, not being able to know if they're going to have a paycheck not being able if they're going to pay their bills, not being able to know if they're going to feed their families, not being able to know if they're going to get food, if it's available, if they can have the money to pay for it. And yet we're ready to provide relief. They need it immediately. They don't need it after the Democrats block again and again and again. So when the, the, the senator from West Virginia said, I don't know why we voted today, that's why we voted today. That's why we need to keep voting. Because the American people need relief and they need it now. This is our duty station, and we're prepared to stay here until we get this done. But to go through all of this, I mean, I talked to a small business owner, has a restaurant, been there for 37 years. She doesn't know how she's going to make payroll. Never closed her door other than for snowstorms in Wyoming. Successful restaurant, very good, great to the people that work there. She doesn't know how she's going to pay for the food that was delivered at the end of last week. She doesn't know how she's going to pay the, the help. This bill takes care of so much of that. Thing, of that. Blocked by the Democrats today. We have a good program for small businesses. It's really good. It was worked on in a bipartisan way. But yet it's being blocked by the Democrats who block even the motion to proceed to the bill. Businesses all across the country employ people, regardless of the size. It's the people that need the jobs, the people that like this. A job is part of somebody's identity. It's who they, it's their, people who work realize how important it is to who they are. They feel a sense of productivity. People I know aren't looking for a check, they just want a job. They want to work, they're ready to produce. And they can't, why? Because the disease has struck America and the government, not the economy, the government has said we're going to shut down this economy. And the government has a responsibility to provide relief, to rescue those people, to provide immediate relief. And every Democrat came to the floor and voted against doing that last night and again this morning. We need to continue to vote. This bill is about our health care system. It's about our economy. It's about money in people's pockets. 
who through no fault of their own are finding themselves in a position they've never been in before, ever, where they can't go out and knock on a door and say, will you hire me? I'm ready to go to work, whether it's a farmer, a rancher, anyone. They can't do that today because the government says you may not. You stay home. You might have a good job, a job you love. Can't go to it today. Monday, everyone, you want everyone to work on a Monday. Not in America on this Monday. And so there's a role and responsibility of us to step in and do what the role of government ought to be in this case of crisis. A crisis caused by both a disease and the economy, the government's action to shut down the economy, and yet Democrats, one after another, continue to block it. And they're not blocking it for things that have to do with actually helping the American people. It is a wish list, a liberal wish list. I, I, it is astonishing they are, direct, they are delaying direct assistance so they can play to the liberal left. The extremists, the environmental extremists, the labor special interests. We're here trying to fight for the man and woman on the street in our hometowns, and yet they're fighting for the Green New Deal. Bernie Sanders may have lost to Joe Biden, but the Green New Deal of Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and that entire crew is alive and well in the Democrat cloakroom and is controlling the actions today on the floor of the United States Senate.